This is a handheld gaming PC that costs $500. So this is the ROG Ally, which is Asus' first handheld gaming PC. So inside the box, we have the console itself, which is pretty light. It honestly feels lighter than the Nintendo Switch. This thing looks so crisp. Inside the box, we also get the power cable, which is pretty small. And that's about it. It's honestly really, really easy to set. Wait, never mind. Mind. There's actually like a docking stand thing for the console. But like this thing is so useless because it's literally just made out of cardboard. Like it feels super, super cheap. All right, let's go ahead and set up Windows on this PC. I don't even know if I should call it a PC or a console. It has like these back tab buttons, like a controller would, but it is running Windows 11. Okay, so I have the Rogue Ally completely set up, but this is where I run into our first problem. The touch screen is just so bad. I've been trying to sign in for the past 30 minutes. Like I'm even pressing the button on the PC and I just can't get myself to sign into Epic Games. Oh my God. God, after literally like two hours of me just pressing the screen, I finally got myself logged in. And I can't connect a keyboard or mouse onto this PC because there are no USB ports, but we could finally download Fortnite. Honestly, I feel like this thing is gonna take a long time to download. All right, finally after eight hours, Fortnite has finished finally being downloaded. Now, another thing about the Rogue Ally is there are no USB ports as you guys can see. So I bought this USB adapter for the Rogue Ally just so we can connect the keyboard and mouse to it. It's literally just like a simple adapter, but this thing costs almost like $50. So this PC has an AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor, which I believe is the best processor for the Rogue Ally. There are different versions, but I'm pretty sure this one is the best one. Let's go ahead and also check what the max FPS this thing can run. We're going to set it all the way to 360. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're getting around 260 FPS. The Rogue Ally screen is also a 120 hertz so if you're running a stable 120 fps this will be a really really playable experience but let's go ahead and connect a keyboard and mouse to this pc and here we have it oh my oh my oh my this thing literally feels so much smoother than 120 hertz. It literally feels like my PC, just in a smaller screen. Also kind of crazy that this thing can reach up to 360 FPS for only $500. It's definitely a really, really good performance beast, especially for such a low price as well. Okay, so now in a game, we're getting around 110 FPS, which isn't too bad. But one thing I do notice is that there is a lot more frame drops. Simply, I'm just looking around as you guys can see we're getting a decent amount of frame drop like it's dropping to around like 40 or so but honestly it's still pretty playable oh who is this guy yeah you're getting ran over buddy where'd you go ggs I'm actually curious how much fps this thing can get if it was fully optimized like honestly it wouldn't even be that bad bro it's just randomly shooting it's just randomly shoot. What the guy in here? Oh, he's above me. Edit. Yo, I can't see the guy. It's so small. Did he just give up? The screen is so small. I literally can't see the guy. 25. Yeah, you're annoying. You're getting pushed. You're getting pushed. I don't care. Eight, eight damage. Yes, sir. 19 damage. Full box. Okay, I won that. Okay, I got lucky. All right, now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. This is scary, bro. This is actually scary. I can't see anything with the screen. I'm just getting shot, you know what I'm saying? Bro, how many people is there? You know what? You know what? We'll go. We'll just leave. It's fine. You guys have a nice day. Bro, there's another guy. Wait.
He's one. He's one shot. Let's go. Free refresh. I see someone else, but it's so small on my screen. Is that a chicken? No, that's a guy. Let's go. This thing is honestly not even running that bad for $500. Like, especially in creative because it's stable 240 FPS. Like, I know some $500 PCs that can barely even run 240. So definitely props to Asus. They made this thing a budget performance monster. But they definitely should add a USB port to the console. Just because if you want to connect a keyboard and mouse, you got to buy an extra dock. Which is kind of annoying. Especially since the dock is like, oh my god. All right, who shot me, bro? Who shot me? Is it you? Okay. We did some damage there. I can't edit. This thing is so small. This guy just jumped off? This guy just fought and ran? Oh, there's a guy. Full box. Oh my, this aim. Oh my. Dead? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh my. God damn. Yo, how did this guy get in my box? 30 again. Reset, please just reset. Hit him again, I think. Oh my God, this guy's annoying. Cracked. Yeah, back up now. How's guy not dead? There we go. Oh my god. You're actually annoying. Oh my god, this guy took it first try. Don't take it first try. Don't take that shit first try. 80. What the, from where, from where, bro? I literally couldn't even see him.